London Hot Radio. Yes, that was the sound of Chris Martin. Big, big track. Love that track. Really and truly. Yeah, that's for all the man that we want to keep it straight down the path. Yeah, it's all good. But let's get in to this big interview with Naran McLean. How are you doing, my dear? I'm fine. How are you How living? Are you? How are you I'm, living? I'm really well. I couldn't be better. All right, all right, all right, all right. And life's treating you good, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, you're mm-hmm. still saying your prayers, yeah? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Yes. Love that, love that. Always. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to crack on and jump straight into this interview, right? Because I know mm-hmm. the listeners are anticipating right now. Mm-hmm. So we're going to get into your life, you know, your mm-hmm. whole everything, yeah? We're going to get into it real deep, right? Mm-hmm. So, first question I'm going to ask you, yeah? Mm-hmm. Where did it all start for you? Like, where did the journey first start for, for like, your whole music, the acting, the whole thing. Where did it all start from? Um, wow, that's a tricky question. Um, stop, 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 stop. Let me rephrase it. Okay. Where did your musical influence, right, and acting influence, where did all that start from? Okay, great. Uh, I'm happy you asked that question. Okay. <laughs> my, my first musical influences were actually uh, my mother, um, okay. It was my it was my mother who provided me with um, kind of like my first musical influences because she owned a number of record shops around London, wow. um, and so I would come home, uh, well, to the shop from school and sit under the counter while she'd be kind of like selling records to the public, and I'd be under the counter doing my wow. homework, listening to the <laughs> the songs coming out because she was a um, she was a um, a music specialist so when the songs were imported into the country she'd be one of the first people to have the the music um, mm, real um dub vendor um no say, dub vendor. Yeah, dub vendor, dub was vendor. that was that in tottenham that was a uh, clapham junction and but they had one uh, in tottenham as well i think they did they may have yeah the one yeah. and there's one in labrick grove and one in clapham junction yeah, yeah. but um but friends of hers were, were also own record shops which is uh john who owned um dub vendor she had TJ Records, which was in, I think at the time, was a place called Arndale Centre mm-hmm. in Fulham, the North End Road. And um, it was a woman owning a record shop, so it was her, really. And also, um, when I was, oh, well, from when I was first born, living up till six years of age, mm-hmm. uh, my neighbour, yeah. a very good friend of my mum, was happened to be a singer back in, I think it was the 80s, Nena Cherry, I don't know if you... Nina Cherry? Yeah, Nena Cherry. Rawr, yeah. That's so, deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I would be next door when she was uh, recording her songs. I used to fancy her, you know. I used to fancy her. Wow, that's a... <laughs> this is really <laughs> shocking. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we, we already know, I think the listeners out there already know you're a womaniser. As you, nah, you, nah, as, just... as you've been bragging on the show. Oh, you know, no, so no, okay. you can't say that. Yeah, no, it's Uncle all right. Drums. Yeah, I can't. Uncle <laughs> John, you can't well, say that. <laughs> well, you know, it's what you said. So well, I never got to womanise Nina your... Terry. That, so that was one of my biggest... She's lovely, isn't she? she She's she, fantastic. She, yeah, she was. She yeah, was. She definitely had... that one. Yeah, so yeah. Um, she... Um, I, I was, we used to live next door when she was... Um, going out promoting uh, Buffalo Stance. And um, mm-hmm. it used to be actually me, her daughter, and uh, Makita from T4, you know, the presenter. Yeah, Makita. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, That was ba- basically uh, her goddaughter also. Wow. Um, and we used to just play with each other. So it was M- Nene's daughter, me, and uh, uh, Makita from T4 when we were young. So that was like, what, six, seven or whatever. So we've kind of always come through the industry. But I mean, when you have musical influences, such as her and yeah, people like big. that. That's big. Then you go on to, I mean, look, Makita's a presenter now. I'm doing what I'm doing now, have been doing since then. Yeah. Um, and so that they were uh, pretty much uh, my influences. Also, I did a jingle at the age of seven for a radio station. I can't wow. remember the radio uh, name. I think it's Capital, was it? I think it may, may have been Capital I did wow. for. Wow. Um, when I was seven years of age, I got taken to this radio station. Don't quote me, I don't really know. I do remember yeah, it yeah, being yeah. called Capital something or whatever. Mm. Um, and it was on the, uh, off the motorway. Was that kind of, like, I just remember a big clock, like a big Ben clock, and it was up in there. Anyhow, seven years of age and coming up, these were my influences. And then I just had like a, a feeling for, for, for being in the entertainment industry. So mm-hmm. that was just 
I knew what I wanted to do at that time. So that's yeah, big. it was that them. Is, that is big. Like those influences, you can tell that you know that's a big head start. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And when you're saying that um, your mum owned record shops and you'd be under the counter doing your homework, mm. that kind of like reminded me of one J Lo video that I saw when she was. I don't know what the tune was, but she went in and she was rocking somewhere and she had a little girl with her and she just put the little girl down in a corner and gave her like the headphones and the little girls there singing and all that and yeah. they're showing the girl and showing J-Lo it was very so much really it was very much like that it was very yeah, much like yeah. that and that's big yeah big shout goes out to your mum and Nina Cherry and Nina Cherry's kids <laughs> yes my mum Linda yeah it's, it's, She's it's listening real in. it's real I love that mm. alright so next question I'm going to ask you is what music inspired you as you was growing up obviously Nina Cherry yeah we know that. Yeah. But what, who else? Who else? Wow. Um, well, singers like Whitney Houston. Yeah. Brandy. Yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of singers. But then there's singers that I would hear my, my nan listening to, um, like um, Barbara Streisand. Wow. And uh, I think it's Barry Gibb. They did a song, um, wow. Guilty, I think it is. That's one of my favourite <laughs> songs. Because we got nothing to be guilty of. Cheese! Oh, you know that's straight christening and, and wedding I know, music. Babe. <laughs> it's all the big people rubbing up to it. <laughs> I played it for somebody special the other day. Um, yeah, that's deep, that's deep. Yeah, so, and they loved it. They'd never heard the song before, but... The, um, people like that and then uh, uh, Anita Baker yeah that was one of my favourites as well yeah you know yeah, yeah. Um, when my mum had the record shop it was like that was like I was baby baby and so they were like I think seven inches you know them small yeah, yeah, records yeah, yeah, that yeah, have the big small, hole in the middle the big hole yeah yeah, yeah. and you had and to put like a little, black thing in it yeah that sat round in the, thing yeah yeah, yeah. yeah of course yeah, so I mean, those were the days, and when you used to hear kind of like the popping and the cracking on records yeah. when it used to play, yeah, the, the popping. Snap, crackle, and yeah. pop. <laughs> the Rice Krispies. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah so, yeah. yeah, so they, they were kind of like my musical influence, but then there's so many people today now, like um, uh, Angel, who happens to be a yeah, good friend big. of mine. He's big. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've known him for years. Uh, we yeah, had the big. same manager uh, uh, a few years ago. Um, and he's he's fantastic. Uh, so like people like uh, Angel, he's a producer, songwriter, mm -hmm. absolutely everything. An artist himself, he's magnificent. Yeah, um, he Jesse J. Yeah, yeah, I really um, like her as well. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I did a movie with Jesse J. I think it was for uh, London uh, Don't Don't Trigger Hip Hop Opera, and um, she was singing the sound one of the soundtracks for the movie I was acting in. I was playing a character called Rachel. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I, this was before she kind of made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, I saw her on set and we kind of just just being in the industry of many people like through the years people have worked with yeah have become people now have done things now you know like so um yeah I, I would say you know those those are musical influences that I have like Beyonce like modern times now they uh Quadrant I don't know if anybody's ever heard but Never heard a fantastic that. artist no. that's no. out um, you're gonna have to hook me up on some of them tracks because really I want to know. Really, I'll leave you with with the names, and you can play oh, right. them to the listeners. I'm yeah, sure. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a lot of uh, talent out there that's undiscovered. Mm -hmm. A lot. Um, yeah. All right. Next question I want to ask you. Your name, Naran McLean. Yeah, mm -hmm. is McLean or McLean? Is that your real name or is that actually your stage name? That is actually my real name. Oh, that's real, man. Mm-hmm. That's my real name. I, um, I love that. Yeah, All but right. um, I mean, everybody has a stage name, but um, at the moment I'm embarking on my my solo career, so there will be a name that's thought of, and I will, you know, enter the industry with a stage name because, you know, you can't mix the two. I believe, you know, legal yeah. legalities is it's much easier to have your real name for legal purposes. That's right. That's and then right. have a stage name for your work. That's, that's right. That's you know, you present yourself as an artist on stage, uh, in in the professional aspect industry. So that's big. That's big. That's yeah. big. All right. Next question is, what advice can you give to an up-and-coming youngster that wants to walk the same road as you've walked? Wow. Um, it's very easy, really. Very easy. Don't give up on your dreams. Anything mm -hmm. you aspire to be, anything you, you think about becoming, if you watch television and you see uh, an artist singing a song or a performer and you... And you you have to believe that you can be that because yeah just as you sit there as a as a you know an, an eight-year-old nine-year-old or whatever in your in your ad ad adolescent years uh -huh. as a youth growing up and watching people on tv and 
uh, listen to people on radios. It's just a fact that these people were once where you were. That's right. And it's the decision that you have to make and stick to. Now, when I was going to school when I was younger, my mum was, oh, study your books. You can't, you know, get an education behind you. What are you thinking? This is just a dream. It's, yeah, it's a dream, you know. Think about it. There's so many people that have these dreams and aspire to be singers, but they're not gonna, all going to make it. That's you need right. to have something to fall back on. That's right. That's I believe, very true. I believe that you should. Very true. You should have something to fall back on. But whereas uh, when I went to school, <clears throat> um, I grew up uh, and I had a very, very, very difficult childhood. Uh, I'm sure that will that that will come out in future in the future. In your autobiography. In my yeah, autobiography, yeah, right, I'll, I'll right. tell it all. That's right. But um, you know, I didn't have an easy life growing up, mm -hmm. and I made choices. Um, I had um, my brother and I had uh, traits of a, a condition ADHD, yeah, yeah, attention deficit hyperactive disorder, yeah. which uh, wouldn't enable me to focus in the way in which I needed to focus yeah. to get. The academic side of schooling done. That's right. So whenever things like in school would turn up, like a, a, a drama class, would, I would excel in it. I'd yeah, be amazing. Yeah, yeah. I'd get gold stars. I remember it. Anything that I had to draw and colour in and things like that, geography, colouring the maps and where show where the water is and where the, the land is, magnificent. I always got gold stars for those things. You know, um, gold stars, gold stars. Gold stars. You remember the gold yeah, stars? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, the, yeah. and the pen with the red writing. Yeah, it was amazing yeah. when you got a pen with red writing. <laughs> now they're like, oh no, you mustn't write in red, oh red ink. God. Never, never, never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to come home with the gold and shiny stars. That's right. Not the yellow that's one, right. not right. the red, not the that's green, right. but a gold, gold shiny one. And that was magnificent. Let me yeah. tell you a little secret. What I used to do, right, mm. is more time I used to get the yellow one. So what I used to do is when the teacher weren't looking, I just peel off some stars and <laughs> put them on my book and go home and say, look, mum, look, the gold star. Oh, no. I was like, go on, go sit down, go on, go on, go read your book. Okay, so guess what? You know uh, you know that you've just said that live on air. So your yeah, mum knows my, that you my never earned those my, gold stars. No, nah, mum, listen. But it's not good she, to my, steal, babe. But listen. I mean, what? Right, she just aired me out on air. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm really all right, sorry. All right, all right, all right. I apologise for stealing them gold stars. Could you right? apologise that... to your teacher too? Is that... um, She's listening. I'm sorry. Very <laughs> sorry, okay? <laughs> it's not good to steal stars, children, for all the but, children that you know, are listening I, I stole it for the right cause, because I'm here now, isn't it? You know. And I am a star now, isn't it? Yeah, You're yeah, a star. Well, Everybody's true. a star. That's true, that's right? true. So We're a star in our Just own leading life. up you to are. being the star, so yes. it's all good. Yes. All right, next question I want to ask you, right? Mm -hmm. Have you always been in like music and acting or have you done other things? Is there other roles that you've played? Wow, okay. In life? Uh, my career started off as a model. Yeah. Uh, I was a model in my early days. Um, wow, it first started when I was, I was 12 well, years of age. I mean, well, my mum got approached when I was nine on Portobello Market in, in Lambert Grove because wow. on the weekend it was really the spot. So summer days my mum would take a walk down there with me and, you know, do the girly mummy and do all that <laughs> stuff. And um, this woman approached my mum and said that you should, that you know, you should put your daughter into modelling. And my mum just, she just, I think parents when they yeah, when that don't... happens, they just can't be bothered. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah whatever, you know, yeah. it's kind of talk. But um, she never. And then um, kind of when I got a bit older and and I I started to receive attention myself, um, I would go to certain places, be in the right place, in the right spots, and they would say to me things like oh you know i get into the the best clubs and things like that and they'd say to me um do uh, uh, do you have you ever thought about modeling and i just thought no no like, can you dance and i'm like yeah i can dance so i i joined an agency and um they was getting me loads of videos so i started off doing videos like such as jay-z i was you know a feature model not just a, yeah, yeah, any yeah, old yeah, model yeah, 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 I, you know I, was, I wasn't just in the background or i was i was actually getting the main parts like yeah. being the main girl in the video at what age was that? Um, oh my goodness, I was 15. Wow, you putting in some work. Yeah, 15, mm. 16, and I was getting paid. And I was the face for Virgin Mobile Phone. Wow. So I was on the Virgin Mobile Phone campaign, Oxford Street, had a building size of, I'm thinking it must have been about five stories high. My face on the whole thing. My friend called me, went, oh my gosh, I'm on Oxford Street, Tottenham Court Road, your face is like, I said, stop <laughs> having a laugh. No, it's not. It's just going to be on the flies. And the... Anyway, I... I met with my friend Ian. Yeah. Um, and uh, I went down and he said, Look, look, come, 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 turn this corner. And um, there's a huge picture of me. So I just thought, Wow, this is amazing. So I kind of continued, I kind of continued um, off of the back of that and just 
going further and further into it um, with the agency giving me jobs saying, oh, you've got this artist coming. Alicia's Key Alicia Keys is coming to do her video in London. Mm -hmm. um, girlfriend. Yeah. Um, and then... Don't mean to interrupt you. Mm -hmm. My friend was in that. I think his name was Charles. He was one rub, rubbing up. His, yeah, he's rubbing, rubbing up his face on her. Um, yes. He looked okay, like a so. Jesus, isn't it? He looked like. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I remember Charles. Yeah, I remember yeah. him. Big. Yeah, yeah. He used to do a lot of videos as well. Um, yeah. There was that video. Um, there was uh, one now of. Um, there's a, what's the um, the producers that are producing now, uh, and they've got they have these artists sing their songs. Remember. Rudimentals. Rudimentals. Yeah, this is yeah. my this is my manager. I'm asking the question yeah. to. Yes. Um, yes. Thank you. Um, so this the artist uh, Rudimental. There was a guy called Thomas in that in that Rudimentals, mm -hmm. the, the latest song that they're doing. I think it's gone to number one. Um, he had a video out, kind of like a kind of garage type housey thing, and um, I was the main model in that video. Uh, Groove Armada, Status Quo. Wow. Um, so many robert palmer he did the remix i mean he passed away but they did a remix brought it back out frankie goes to hollywood yeah. uh might as well face it yeah 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 and yeah. um, that one and um just so many so then i thought right okay cool so then um i i start to get serious when um i used to go to this salon and this woman in the salon was like Look, i've got my own agency i think you should join this agency so I was moving from agency to agency getting a lot of work from a lot of agencies uh -huh. um, and I just thought I need to really embark on something bigger than what I've been doing it yeah. can't be wishy-washy it can't just be the small job so I went to this agency and um, a reputable one of the the UK's biggest and oldest actors agency yeah. <clears throat> and um, this woman signed me up and then one day she called me she said hi hon um, I've got you an audition I need you to go on uh, I said, oh, what is, what is it for? Um, it's The Lion King in the West End. And I'm just thinking. Wow. Oh, no, no The wow. Lion King. I'm never going to get that, really. Wow. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh, this is just ridiculous. Like, come on, I'm not that big. I, I'm never going to get something like that. Yeah. And then she said, look, just go on it. It's really, it's a really good look. I, you're amazing, amazing. Your talent is great. You know, I just think it, it, you need to believe that you could do this because you, you're amazing. I never really kind of like believed in myself like that. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't because um, I think it's really important to stay humble in the industry. Definitely. You know, because um, don't never get above yourself. You know, there are a lot of artists out there that, you know, just think they get a bit of fame and then they're like, oh, I'm this, I'm that. And it's so important to stay grounded because it could be your day to day and you, it's gone tomorrow. That's right. So um, five minutes of fame. Five minutes of fame. Yeah. They say everybody what fifteen minutes of fame for everybody or something. Um. So then, I went on this audition, and I don't know uh, if you've been told or if you're aware, but um, Lion King is one. It's, it's the world's, uh, apart from Les Mis, biggest musical. I, I didn't. World, I, I didn't know that. Worldwide, it boasts the most sales, ticket sales. It's worldwide. I think it's in more countries than any other musical. I'm not too sure, but <clears throat> mm -hmm. I think it is. I think the one year they boasted, I think, uh, 38 million or wow. something. Wow. Yeah. I, I, I mean, what was it? Profit. 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 Yeah, profit. I'm just thinking, wow. So anyway, go to the audition. Um, I get through the first one and I'm like, oh, yes. So I call my agent. I'm like, hi. Um, um, so yeah, so um, I'm, I'm, have I got it? Have I got it? She's like, oh, hon, no, you don't find out this soon about, you know, whether you've got it or not. You're going to have to, a few more. So I go to the next audition. I go to the next. I'm like, come on, have I got it now? Like, I've gone on three auditions <laughs> and I passed all three. Like, surely, like, do you reckon that I've got it? Like, she's like, no, hon. And no, but you, they do want to see you again. So I go back and there's a dancing call. There's an acting call. There's a singing call. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> So I get to the ninth audition now, long story short. Um, all the big uh, Disney uh, executives like come over from America. Yeah. I mean, like how many judges? It's a huge table in this room. Mm -hmm. And they've whittled the amount of, oh God, like hundreds of people went up for this audition, hundreds. And um, I was one of the final seven. Wow. And so I'm just thinking, okay, I'm never gonna get like a the role of Nala or anything, you know, Nala is the most important role other than Simba that you can get in the show. Nala is Simba's partner. And um, 
that is the leading lady of the Lion King. Is that the lioness? Yeah, the lioness. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. the leading lady role. Yeah. Every every musical has a leading lady, and the leading ra- lady role of the Lion King is Nala. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking I'm not going to get that. Guess what? I want to be a cactus in the back, just flowing, just flowing, <laughs> just like I don't care. Just get me on the stage. I'll have anything in the show, like That's to right. any position, That's right. That's because right. what? Lion King's Lion King. From your in, your in. From in, your in, That's you know? Right. So That's I just right. thought, you know what, just get me in. I just can't wait to get in. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be a cactus just standing there like, you know, ooh, flowing in the wind. Anyway, I go to the audition. We're down to seven girls. They call us back. So we have to audition, and this is the day we find out if we got it or not, or whatever. So they've sent me in to audition for the Nala role. So all the girls that are there are going into this room while we're all sitting outside, listening to everybody going in and singing. <clears throat> uh, sitting outside, listening to people sing, I'm thinking, uh, they're sending me for this Nala role. Like, what mm-hmm. is going on? Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Like, And I'm like, I'm like bricking it. I'm, t- I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, I'm sweating, I'm palpitating. Like, you know, have yeah. you ever just been still? And you've just got sweat dripping. I'm sorry. I know nerves, that sounds really nerves, bad. Nerve. Nerves. I've got. Yeah, like, when I don't use my right guard. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Well, you know what? It was like that. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it yeah. was a, a, a non right guard uh, day, moment. Day, yeah. Yeah. Moment. When I actually did use it, I'm yeah. sweating and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, the girls come out and there's one girl goes in before me. She sings the pants off. I was like, I ain't got it. Just cool. Shut it down. I ain't got it. I just sitting outside. I'm like, I haven't got this. So anyway. I, I go in and there's a long table and this room is huge. I can hear my heart beating in my head. Wow. Have you ever been that nervous? You can hear your like. Yeah. I'm like when I was in the nick, when I was in the police station. That's joke. That's joke. I ain't been in no police station, yeah. I'm a law-abiding citizen. Yes. So, all right. I go in this room and I'm just nervous because the judge is sitting there. And John, he's like, hey, Naran, it's lovely to see you. Oh, you've been, can I just say you've been fantastic? So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into some, um, uh, the singing of Nala. So we got, you know, I want you to get prepared and just focus and we're going to go into the songs. And I'm, I'm like, okay, okay. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I start singing. And he's like, okay, I, I want you to, um, I want you to picture that there's a bird and it's there and you're just, you're looking at the pride lands. So you can see <laughs> the pride lands, they're derelict and everything is broken and damaged and you're <gasps> Nala singing this song that she has to get help. To, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm just like, I can't do this, I can't do this. And I'm doing it. Acting I'm singing and it. singing. I'm acting, acting yeah, yeah. singing, dancing, everything, the movement. So they take me through the singing, I sing. <clears throat> And he gives me a bit of direction. He takes me through the acting. <clears throat> gives me a little bit of direction. Mm-hmm. Then he wants me to do the the whole piece together. Like running after. I don't know if anybody out there has seen The Lion King. When Nala comes on stage and she does, does the singing of Shadowland. And she's with the li- other lionesses. She comes out of the pack and she looks back. And she's like, she's singing. Um, she will return um, in uh, South African. Yeah. Uh, and so... I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to get this. So I'm singing. Anyway, he's like, okay, we want you to go out the room now and um, we're going to take you out. She's, uh, Debbie's going to take you out. We're going to put this Nala mask on you. We're going to come back in and we're going to do it again. And <laughs> then we're going to decide we're going to have a little chat. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I go up to this room and the woman who puts this mask on me is in tears. She's putting this mask on me. She said, you're amazing. Wow. Yes, you're going to get this. And I'm like... Wow. She's crying. And the woman's crying, but I know I really had a great connection with this woman. I connected with her so much. It was unbelievable that I knew she wanted it for me as much as I wanted it for myself. That's right, that's right, that's right. So, but I thought, why is she crying? And I, and I just thought, and I love this woman. I fell in love with her. Like, oh my goodness, I love this woman to bits. And um, her name is Debbie Shrimpton. <laughs> And, um, bigger up, bigger up, bigger yeah, up. Yeah, big up Debbie Shrimpton. She's probably an American now because she does all the Lion Kings all around the world. She's fantastic, fantastic. Uh-huh. Um, and she takes everybody through the movement. The, she's, I think, the company director, you know, mm-hmm. the, the director. So um, she starts crying. So she's crying, and I'm thinking, that's it. She's crying because she knows I've not got this job. Mm. And she's really upset that I haven't got this job. Yeah. So I go in this room, and I'm just like... 
So anyway, I do everything. And he goes, okay, thank you, Naran. We just want to thank you very, very much. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little, if you could just kind of, you, know, you could just go over there and yeah, just have, yeah. a, just wait a minute. Yeah. So they all come together at this table and like whispering, da -da 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 -da. like they're all chatting together and there's a whispering and I'm just like, I'm trying to desperately hear, but I can't hear. I'm just, the nerves are just, I can't hear anything. I'm just like, my panic within me is not enabling me to hear anything. I'm just hearing this really palpitating air and my heartbeat in my head. I'm like, dum -dum, dum -dum, dum -dum. I'm like, oh my God, I'm not getting this. So he said, okay, okay, we've made a decision around. We just, could you just come closer to the table? We're just gonna, um, Okay, we have we, we, we've discussed it and we just want to say thank you for your fantastic work you put in you put in some fantastic work and we just want to tell you blah, 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 what we've decided so um uh, we um, we don't normally do this but we're gonna do this because they, they told they did something so unethical in terms of how you do things in the industry they're not supposed to tell me whether I get a job or I haven't got a job they're supposed to call my agent and my agent tells me yeah they say thank you bye bye but this time they uh, turned around to me and he said, okay, we have some, we have some bad news. We have, like, we have some bad news and however, we have some good news. So I'm thinking, okay, um, we have some bad news and we have some good news. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, bad news, good news. Okay, cool. I know I haven't got this, but they're happy to see me next year. Yeah. So I said, okay, okay, all right. So he said, okay. Um, the bad news is you've not got Nala understudy. Now, understudy is somebody who goes on for Nala, the lead Nala, when she's sick or when yeah. she can't do her show. So somebody covers for her. So that's Nala understudy. He goes, the bad news is you're not going to get Nala understudy. So the, like the, 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 the part-time Nala you're talking about? The part-time Nala, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's the one that goes on. Like, if I take a holiday, there's somebody in the show that comes on and covers me, covers Nala. Yeah. And she gets paid to do my gig yeah um, and and um, when I'm sick as well so anyway um, they said the bad news is you're not gonna get Nala understudy the good news however is you're gonna get Nala lead Wow and I'm Rawr. <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself I'm thinking to myself oh my goodness I can't believe this did I just hear that? Wow. So I'm standing there thinking to myself, no, 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 you just heard what you wanted to hear. Yeah. So I was like, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, could, could, I don't understand. Could you say that again? And he said, yeah, you heard, you heard right. Um, you're going to get Nala lead. You are a Nala. And I'm like, oh. and you know that whole feeling. You know when people say, oh, they lost the feeling in their knees and they collapse. Yeah. I promise you, no word of a lie. I experienced it that day. I lost the strength in my legs it was really yeah i fell to the floor right where i was and i was in floods of Crying. tears yeah did the right guard start working though <laughs> <laughs> no 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 i think by that time i think i was so hot it must have dried up wow like everything was just like i was just in my own element my own world i just it suddenly hit me yeah i walked all the way from that place to uh piccadilly to to back to well no green green um green park and that wow. is a long distance yeah, from yeah, yeah. Uh, a long trek. from southwark that's a trek to green park yeah that's a trek and and i L don't remember littlest the hobo littlest hobo littlest hobo what? <laughs> remember that our station dog used to just w walk <laughs> no no remember that remember that sin oh, he probably really he probably wasn't even alive then mm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're showing your age because I, yeah, I don't remember it. I don't mind him. It's okay. Beauty. We don't remember it. We're not that old. Age of beauty. Okay. <laughs> not old man. Not old man. Oh dear. Okay, sorry. That's my grandfather right there. Look at yeah. his face. <laughs> so, um, I don't even remember the walk. I was so shocked. I couldn't believe. Oh my goodness. I am now the leading lady of a number one worldwide musical in the West End. There's only two major places you could get it in on Broadway and in the West End. Uh -huh. So I'm thinking. Facebook and Twitter. I did that. No, I didn't even do that. <laughs> the, I walked. I walked uh, back to Chelsea. I, I, like I walked to Green Park. Then I, I suddenly. Oh, I'm green. I'm here. Okay. My mum. I need to call my mum. So I, I called my agent first. I was like, Caroline. Caroline. I, I got the job. I got the job. She goes, uh, got the job, hun. Uh, no, slow down, hun. Slow down. Nobody's called me. 
So just don't <laughs> think that. Don't think that. I really don't want you to think this. I really don't want you to, because I don't. Don't get your hopes up, hun. Because they don't normally tell you. They wouldn't. They would call me. Wow. I said no, Caroline. They told me. They said to me in front. They said, okay, I'm just gonna call and check. Okay. She called up and checked, and she was like, hun amazing i'm so proud of you i'm so proud of you we had a party it was a ball oh my goodness wow. and i told my mum, and she was i think she was shocked because i mean i did a musical before i got daddy cool i got javine's job wow you remember javine yeah, yeah yeah they were in that show and um uh, she got fired and they gave me her role in the show mm. and um and uh i was just i was i couldn't believe it that is amazing. It was amazing. I just so then that that was like one of the most amazing things that could ever happen to me. And you know when kids uh, always have dreams and aspirations, it's so important to believe that you can make that, you can get there. Because everybody who is a star out there now was never that. That's right. When they were the age that you know these young people are today, like you know when they're seventeen, they had aspirations and dreams to be that. That's right. And it was that that belief and the hope that they built up within their self mm -hmm. that enabled them you know to be gifted with you know the belief that they could actually achieve it which is what i went out and i did that's right i grabbed hold of it i took every experience of being in the industry being in every uh, opportunity that i had uh, socializing hanging out with big people you know in the industry yeah. like uh, uh, um, ludicrous and uh, jay-z and um um you know what's his name jamie fox I would yeah, go to all yeah. these parties with these stars and I'm just thinking, I'm here with these people. I never used to get starstruck because I don't believe in being starstruck because, I mean, these people are just like anybody else. That's right, that's and right. it's important for anybody to remember that out there because a lot of the time you could talk yourself out of doing something or believing in yourself. Like, oh, they're a star. Oh, I can never be that, can I? Oh, I'm just mm. a rapper. Yeah, I'll, I'll never get there. Mm. Believe in yourself and you can achieve absolutely anything you want in life. That's right. It happened right. to me, and I'm just a normal, average, everyday person. That's right, and I want to give you a big round of applause, everybody in the studio, because that was a major achievement, right? And my next question was, mm -hmm. was going to be, mm. what was your greatest moment in your career? But we're going to pass that now. <laughs> you just explained it. So, yeah, that was amazing, mate. And, you know... It's really an honour to have you here sitting today, sitting down here today. It is a pleasure to be you here know, supporting. Sitting down here and you're doing the big musical Lion King. And that's mm. worldwide, like you said. That's mm. global. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's really an honour for you to be here today. So before Thank we you, close up on this, I'm going to ask you just a few normal questions. Just like a couple normality yeah. questions. Yeah? Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Mm-hmm. And you're going to say why. Why? Right? Okay. Why? I'm going to ask you this or that, and you're going to say that, and you're going to say why I chose that is because blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right? Why, okay. Excellent. So, all right. McDonald's or KFC? McDonald's. And why I chose yeah. that? Filet burgers. Wow. Fish sauce, man. <laughs> Fish sauce. And you know they don't give you extra sauce? Tartar. Tartar, tartar sauce. Yeah, tartar, yeah. Filet burgers yeah. all day long with a Tropicana orange and an apple pie. Yep. Cold or hot. Yep. You know, like, I'm not going to lie. Yep. I'm not going to lie. I save the apple pie till the next day. I buy two. <laughs> don't I? My manager will tell you, Tyrone. Tyrone, don't I? Two. Two. Two apple pies. Oh my gosh. That's right. They're amazing. That's right, that's right. And you know the apple pies, yeah? Yeah. When I was a little kid, till now, it still tastes the same. Same. High five me, babe. Look, hey. I can't believe that. Yeah. They taste the same, don't yeah. they? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're amazing. I don't know what they do to the, the apple pies. Yeah. The apple pies in McDonald's are safe. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't... Well, boy. Yeah. The let's not, let's not, yeah, let's, let's not go let's in not, there. Let's not slander let's them, not, yeah? I'm not slandering Mr. McDougall. Let's, all right, all yeah, right. Yeah, Mr. McDougall's Mr. cool. Mr. Mac <laughs> Mr. McDowell. Yeah, you remember um, coming to America? We had McDonald's and we had McDowell. Yes. <laughs> oh, 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 Mr. McDowell with the girl, the girl Eddie Murphy. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. All right. Mr. McDowell. <laughs> All right. Next question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, light or dark? What do you mean there? Do you like? Do you prefer light or dark? What? The light, the element of light. Do you prefer it to be light 
Or dark? No, I prefer dark, candle lit. Reason why, so I, I don't like bright light. Unless it's sun. Unless it's direct sun on a summer's day and you've got warmth with it. I, I really dislike going to a restaurant and the whole place is illuminated, bright, and you've got this big spotlight above your head shining down on your face. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my gosh, do I look, I've got these like shades. <laughs> oh my gosh, do you think I've got bags under my eyes or something? No, it, I think, I, I'm, I'm a candle lady. I love candles in my home. I, you know, where, wherever I can, in the nighttime, wherever I can have the lights off, I will have them off. I've got huge candles in my home. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I like that. Yes. All right. So, um, sweet or sour? Oh my goodness. <laughs> sweet. Definitely sweet, yeah? Yes, sweet. And the reason why. Yeah. Because I just got a craving for sweet things. Just, the, just I can't say it any other <laughs> way. Like, I just, I love sweet. Like, who likes sour? Can anybody some, call some in and people, tell me why they like... Some people do. Some people yeah? do. Some call people in like... and tell me why you like sour. What? No, sour. Do you know what sour... Do you know what? i tell you what. There is a sweet that makes me sweat. What's that one? Oh, my gosh. It's a sour sweet. You know those... Um, you know Starburst? those... Starburst? No. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starburst is the same. But you know those... Um, what are those red things with the sour thing on yeah, it? Yeah. And they're like, they're like yeah. um, flat, you... thick laces. That yeah. Yeah. They're no, they're like a long beans. strip. You get them from beans. the two pence and one pence. The same way. All I know is they're sweets. flat and they're about like that that thing. They're like a shoelace and they're red. Oh, sugar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, sour, yeah, yeah. sour. You yeah, put it in your yeah, mouth. And they, yeah. I put those in my mouth and they make me... It feels like I'm sweating. That's the feeling it gives me. It's horrible. Wow. Ugh. Wow. No, no, no. All right. All right. Next question is, yeah? Mm. Phone call, text or voice note? It depends on what. What do you prefer and why? Phone call. A phone call. Old school. Old school. Yeah. The world is too... Well, like we're, we're, we're kind of disconnected now. There's too many um, gadgets in the, <laughs> and... and like, like, look, all shops are closing down. Everything's done via, via the internet. Soon you're not going to see anybody on the road. True. Everybody's going to be in buildings, doing their work behind laptops. Everybody's going to be on email. And I mean, like, what happened to socialising? I, I just... The only, the only reason why social, people socialise nowadays is to go to these single nights. I agree. Definitely. I really think we've lost we've lost a lot of, of um, you know what happens in the days where you see kids out making things and running in the grass in the park they want to stay in and play PlayStation and Xbox and these things and we and we yeah, yeah, I mean yeah. I do love the we don't get me wrong <laughs> I love my Mario <laughs> even though I can't get past the strawberry world all right I keep falling off that dice that goes round it's horrible <laughs> I hate it and my manager's kids come round and hi um Carlisle and Kira I have to say hello to Carlisle and Kira because my baby all and right. I love my babies but right. um yeah Kira absolutely loves the we and oh she's so gorgeous she's like and the other day she got told off um that she can't play the Wii. <laughs> she was, I was like, I'll play it for you. Tell me what to do and I'll play it for you. <laughs> it was so funny. But the Wii is really exciting. I mean, I just, but you have to put a limit on it. Otherwise yeah, yeah. it can consume yeah, you, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's so important to socialise, get out and just, you know. Yeah. There's so many beautiful things to do, like in London now, and even around the world. Travel, get out, get your kids out, make uh, some paper swords and out of a toilet. What happened to those days, you know? Yeah. Climbing up trees and dropping and scraping your knee and stuff. That's all part of life, you know. You have yeah. to have. We're losing a lot. It's yeah, really sad. That's very true, and that's uh, that's real. I love that as well. Yeah. That's keeping people grounded, you know. Sometimes technology takes you way too far it out, really does. and you've got to get back to. The, the yeah. dinosaur days, you know what I mean? Yeah, you do. Right back, back to reality and just back to just connecting. You know, you can lose so much by that. People don't don't talk. Uh, you know, it's really sad. True, very yeah. true. All right, next question I'm going to ask you: mm -hmm. Nando's or Pizza Express? Nando's. Wow, didn't even finish it. Nando's straight. Nando's, Nando's. You know why? No negotiation. No, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Right. Nando's. Have you ever? And I need to tell the listeners, Nando's. Mayonnaise, the white one, not the pear, peri, 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 or whatever. And then, not the orange one. No, 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 boring. <laughs> Big, large chips. The chips have to come large. When they say you large chips, yeah. they need to give you large chips. That's right. Because I'm, I'm saying, I, 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 this is not a large chips. I can yeah. count the amount of chips in this bowl. Plus, yeah. I need a big, big dish of the house mayo, the white one. Yeah. Everybody. But wait a minute, Nando's do not give you. 
proportionate amount of chips. No, they don't. At all. They don't. They it's don't terrible. even come near you know, to that portion. You know what we they need don't. to do? You know what so, we need to do? We need to find an old school chip shop. Yeah. Right? And buy a big portion of chips. And take it to them. Sneak it in, put that on the plate, and deal with the chicken and the sauce. Happy days. Yeah. Yeah, but that can't happen nowadays. No, we order yeah. Nando's takeaway, take it home, but get the... Chips from the fish and chip shop. Yeah. Big bag. <laughs> Big bag. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? You know what, though? You know what? I can't lie. Nando's chips are nicer than chip shop chips. No. no. I can't agree. No way. No, no, no way. No way. Oh, excuse me. No. Them big chunky no. proper yeah, chips. They're too potato-y. No. no okay, can you get, can, okay, can you get your different. listeners... Okay, can you get your listeners to call in then and just clarify this? Because I need somebody to... Please, Wait, be on my right, No, no, you know what? All. You've won. No, 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 no. You've won. No, no, I've got people against me here. This is not fair. <laughs> I've got too many... No, you've got your manager. Your manager's on your side. So it's equal. You're on my side. High five me. The sauce on it. What's that sauce? See, this is the... Re- you guys yeah, are... The perry, 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 perry sauce. Yeah, they're, they're the chips. Yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah. So that's Can't two versus that. two. We're okay. all equal. Equal. We're all ha. equal, all right? Say something. I love that. It's a new saying nowadays. I like this modern day say, say something. Um, what is it? What's another word I heard? Nang. What's nang? Nang. What are these, um, <laughs> what are these nang words? Nang means you need to get a dictionary. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Hey, do they do like a, a modern day yeah, like they do an urban folk, dictionary? Urban di- yeah. please, I need to buy that. <laughs> nang. Yeah, it's I available heard, on I heard nang. I heard yeah, urban dictionary. I mean, my days it was. Oh my! I would I would never talk. Raggle, like that. raggle, raggle. Oh my gosh! Yeah, things raggle. like that. You plum? Do you remember blatant, you plum? Blatant. Blatant. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and you get me? Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. I them still days. use the word muppet. Oh no! You I use the word it. mug. I say you. Why mug. is that? Because of um, Sesame Street. Can you tell me how to get how, how to, to get to Sesame, Sesame Street? Street? That's why I look at you. Muppet. Muppet. <laughs> oh, do, you remember, do you remember the Muppets? Yeah, of course, Kermit. Yeah, Kermit. Kermit. Kermit, man. High five, me. Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy. Oh my gosh, Miss Piggy. Yeah, yeah. I remember all that, man. Oh, remember okay. spitting image. Spitting image. image. Wow. Those were the good days. Wow. What happened to TV? Peppa Pig and all this. Sorry, what's Peppa Pig? Carlisle loves Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> it was crazy. All right, listen. Mm-hmm. We're going to have to close this one up. Yes. Uh, what, what, what I'm going to say is, right, mm-hmm. is there anybody you want to big up or send shout outs to? Anybody? Do you know what? I've come to support a uh, new radio station. This is new. I'm, I'm absolutely loving this. Uh, London hot radio is just hot is just happening and i just want to give you guys you know the best wish you the best you're going to do you. so amazingly well it's Thank great you. i wouldn't have come on the show if not do you know what i mean so yeah, you know you've been established and i think it's, it's a great setup you've got here it's something new it's not like any other radio station so for me yeah i need to support you know when it's hot when you when you see something come out you're like that's hot you know people heard jesse J. She's hot. Everybody jumps on it. When that's you right. you want to be one of the first people to say, I was on there first. That's right. That's, that's right. why that's I came right. in. That's so love. That's love. That's love. I need to I need to big up the radio first. Bless. So big up to London Hot Radio uh, and all its listeners. Hello and uh, thank you for tuning in today. Um, and then I want to just give a shout out to my mum, Mummy Linda, uh, Mummy Jennifer Jen Jen, who's recovering from a. Uh, uh, being sick not feeling too well karma cruise producer karma cruise big up big up big time um it's keep an ear out because uh, my new material is going to be produced by uh, karma cruise she's fantastic like i this person this producer is london's hottest producer no if anybody's ever heard of her they will know i've she's, heard of her i've heard of her she's I've amazing heard of her. I've heard of her. amazing amazing heard of her. anyway she's on uh, she's doing my material for me and it's such a pleasure to work with her she's absolutely stunning beautiful good looking girl great personality very gifted um kira and carlisle we're gonna play the Wii this weekend yes <laughs> and i'm gonna beat ya um uh, Angel, Suresh, Angel, singer Angel, people know him as Angel. Big I know up, him as big Suresh. up, big up. Big up to Angel, love you, bro. Um, Adrian Grant, creator of the Michael Jackson musical uh, Thriller in the West End. Wow. Um, yeah, big up to wow. him. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. I know you wanted to meet tomorrow, so we're definitely meeting up tomorrow. Jazz, up. Jazz Lintot from The Real Hustle, BBC, The Real Hustle. Um, Ali Tennant, vocal coach on The Voice and uh, was vocal coach on X Factor. And last but not least, Tyrone and everybody at the Wood Barbers in Woodford. Big up. Uh, who is it? Um, 
Who's that artist that went in there? Chipmunk. He had his hair cut and all. He went in there, right? Yeah, he was like the wood barbers in in uh, uh, Essex Woodford. Amazing. Big up, and so big I have to up. pick up everybody there and say, hey, see you soon. Can we, can we get a big round of applause for everybody that you bigged up today? Yes, Defo. <laughs> Excellent. Definitely. Excellent. So, my dear, it yeah. was a wonderful, wonderful interview. You know, it uh -huh. was excellent. You know, love uh, the way you went in depth and you broke it down okay. and you opened up the envelope and made people get a good grasp and a good read of what you was talking about. And it was all love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do now uh -huh. is we're going to put the proof in the pudding, you okay. know, because you know the Lion King and all that stuff, but we need we need our own little Lion King performance. I'm gonna, what was that <laughs> guy? What, what was that guy's name? It was it was it was it was doing that. Hey girl, can you come over here and can? Oh you... John, John. Right, I'm not gonna do that voice, but okay. I'm gonna be the John right now. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. So cool. you're you're gonna have to break it down. So let me ask you a quick question. Yeah? Okay. Um, who's your favorite artist, like women wise? Oh wow. Um. I would say Beyonce, Lauren Hill, Brandy, Alicia Keys. Excellent, 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 mm -hmm. excellent. All right, so basically, oh, you no. know, the floor is going to be yours. <laughs> oh, no. Right? Oh, the stage okay. is yours. Okay. Right? So just check the right guard first. Make sure the right guard's working. Oh, my <laughs> and make sure that you're sitting down because I don't, want, I don't want you falling all over the oh, place. My yeah? Gosh. Okay, okay. All right, so hmm. okay. anytime you're ready, my dear, the stage is yours. Okay. It's up to you what you want to do. And yeah, just bless the show. Bless the show, man, because you blessed it. Okay, um, well, what do, I, 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 do you want to hear a style of... Do you want to hear... I, mean, I could do a number of genres of music, so classical... First two, okay. classical... Classical? And opera, if okay. you can. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I think there's... Long ago, in someone else's lifetime, someone with my name, who looked a lot like me, came to know a man and made a promise he only had to say, and that's where she would be. There you go. Woo! Yeah. That one? <laughs> Woo! Hey, I'll tell you something, yeah? Huh? You know, just listening to that little part there, yeah? Yeah. I don't even need to see The Lion King. I just got it right here. <laughs> I just closed my eyes and I was sitting right there in the theatre watching it. Yeah? Okay. Uh, can, okay. I get, can, I get, can I get some op opera now? Uh, not opera. London Park Radio. Beyonce, uh, oh God, what can I sing of hers? Halo. That's fine. That's fine. This is like I'm an R and B type thing. I'm good thing. with that. I'm good All with right. that. Remember those walls I built? Well, baby, they're tumbling down, and they didn't even put up a fight. They didn't even make a sound. I found a way to let you in, but I never really had a doubt. Standing in the light of your halo, I got my angel now. It's like I've been awakened. Every rule I had you breaking. It's the risk that I'm taking. There you go. Cheese! <laughs> Cheese! <laughs> okay, um, Lauren Hill? Yes, my girl. Okay, um, what was her song? Okay. Oh, God, what song? Okay, I know one. <laughs> It could all be so simple But you'd rather make it hard Loving you is like a battle And we both end up with scars Tell me who I had to be to gain some rain. There you go. Shoot! Yeah, brandy, yeah? Okay. Brandy's the last one. Cool, baby. I'm good, because I... 
I'm just like, you put me on the spot here. <laughs> I'm like, um, oh God, what, what one do I like of hers? Oh, do you know what? It's a, a message for a lot of women out there. Because uh, the women that are going through difficulties with their man right now, or whatever. There's one song that I, I, I've been listening to. I think it's because of a friend of mine who's been going through difficulties. And I think I sent her the song the other day and I sang it to her. Oh. And, um, oh God, I pray I get this right because I'm not too sure of the words. But Just think of Steve. Think. <laughs> think of Steve. <laughs> John, <laughs> man, John. John, John, John. <laughs> think of John and you'll get it right. All right. Um, r women, remember this, okay? Sing this to your man. Thank you for all the tears, all the stress. You're the best. I feel blessed. I'm a better woman now. Look how I smile. All you did was help the next man. Cause this experience made me who I am. Try to make me love you. I try to make me stay. But every time I tried my I got in the way Just for the sake of my daughter I had to stick to the plan But I had to get rid of the weight of my fourth finger Left hand To everybody listening Sorry if you're disappointed I know the life I chose was only what I thought I wanted Nothing's picture perfect Looks can be deceiving There you go Woo! <laughs> Woo! Can I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. We can't stop. We just need one more. Oh can my we, can, god! Can we can we get an Alicia Keys? Oh my god! All right, all right, all right. Okay. More, last oh, one, last no, one. An Alicia Sorry. Keys just song. anything off the top. Alicia Keys, anything. Okay. London Pop Radio. Oh, I know what one. Okay. What's it gonna be? I just want you close Where we can stay forever You can be sure That it will only get better You and me together Through the days and nights But all I know is everything's gonna be People keep talking, they can see what they like. But all I know is everything's gonna be alright. No one, no one, no one can get in the way of what I'm feeling. No one, no one, no one can get in the way. Yeah, you shut it down. You shut it down, Naran. Seriously, like, <laughs> Thank you came you. here. You gave an epic interview, Thank you know, you. and the singing was definitely the proof. And I want to thank you for coming to London Hot Radio today and blessing us with your presence just before the end of the day, the year. Yeah, end of the year, Thank you blessed you. it. Yeah. Thank so you. we got something to move into New Year's with, and it's been an honor and a pleasure. Big up your management. Tyrone there, yeah? Uh -huh. Big man, yeah? Going on with enough things right now. <laughs> Look out for Naran. Make sure you go on Google her, yeah? Mm -hmm. Check her out. Um, yeah, I'm on Twitter. Yeah, can you want to send out just a couple? Yeah, so um, um, I'm on Twitter, and it's just Naran McLean. So that's N for November, A for Alpha, R for Romeo, R for Romeo, A for Alpha, N for November. And the second name is McLean, which is M for Mike, C for Charlie, L for Lima, E for Echo, A for Alpha, and N for November. Uh, you can catch me on Facebook, Twitter, and, and all, all the other, um, you know, links. So you could Google me if you want to see a bit of uh, stuff that I've done. It would be nice to have your support. Um, if you could support me, that would be fantastic. And, um, yeah, just, just, just follow and, uh, yeah, your support would be great. You know, because it's all about building fans. It's the fans that make people. And, um, and the fans, everybody, 
who is uh, blessed enough to be, you know, a talent and be making it in the industry. It's the fans you have to thank. So That's right. thank you for listening and thank you guys for having me today. Thank you for coming down, man. You thank and your you. manager, it was all love. And, you know, we'll support you. Anything you got that you want to promote, you can always come down there. I would you love can do to it come live. Back. Definitely. You can do it live. Or any any little le anything that's going on. I just want to say thanks once again. It was love. This is London Hot Radio. It's your boy Uncle Drums, the man of the hour. Yeah. <laughs>